social media marketing agency, SMA. It's something that everybody's talking about right now. Is it actually a good business model for 2024? We're gonna be talking about people that have built seven figure agencies. We're gonna be talking about people that have built eight figure agencies. That's seven figures, that's over $10 million in sales. We're gonna be talking about the mistakes people make. And at the end, I'm even gonna share with you how to get a completely free course on how to find clients that will pay you, how to make sales, how to actually deliver for those clients. So stay tuned, let's jump into the episode. Let's get it. Awesome, Nick, you know, thank you to have you here, you know, and the million dollar question people want to know, how did you build a multi seven figure SMMA? I would say this, I definitely started at the right time. When I launched my marketing agency, I started nine years ago almost. So imagine this, most people didn't even know what that was back then. There was way less competition. But with that being said, I did do a lot of things right because 10 years ago, before that, I worked with a guy named Grant Cardone. I was a sales consultant. So I knew how to do enterprise deals. And in my first six months of my marketing agency, I worked with Patrick David, Conor McGregor, uh, Fortune 500 companies, billion dollar companies, because I understood the sales process and I knew how to build the sales team. So I actually had over 15 cold callers and I even had people that were account executives that were doing deals. So so I had the infrastructure and in sales the right way. And I just had that pure outflow where just from sure volume and just intensity, we were able to get our foot in the door with the right types of opportunities and, and ultimately um, build, you know, a successful marketing agency. Amazing, Nick. Amazing. I know you mentioned that you did work with a lot of people and with all the experience you've gotten with those 90 years, how did your business partner build a eight figure SMMA? Yeah, so fast forward a few years, I eventually partner with uh, my business partner, Dylan, and he actually has done a little over 25 million, about 30 million in sales and his marketing agency altogether. And what I realized was, is he was doing a lot of the same principles I was doing in terms of a sales process, but he did one thing I didn't do. And that was implement integrated partnerships. And what he would do is he would find businesses where they would refer him business every single month. So he literally had hundreds, even thousands of people reaching out to his marketing agency to do business with them. And then he also partnered and did deals where he was able to make 20, 50, hundred thousand dollars from a single account. And that was uh, really the biggest difference is that he was doing deal volume, but the types of deals he was doing, he was making, you know, five, 10, 20 times more than I was per an account. And now on my end, I, you know, I actually believe that that is a powerful uh, method to use because if you have the right pricing model, the right partnerships, you could literally do one deal and that one deal could be worth a few hundred thousand dollars um, just in one deal alone. Amazing, amazing, Nick. I know that, you know, your partners have, have been through it all. So we all know that there's many opportunities out there, especially online, you know, drop shipping, investing, doing all this, right? There's many opportunities. But what's the difference from SMMA and any other online business? The biggest difference is the fact that you don't need to build everything from scratch. All right, let's just give this an example. For me, I was a D1 athlete. For me, I was very passionate about sports and athletics. And I, I, I liked working out as well. And I even thought about maybe having a gym, but I didn't have 50, 60, $70,000 to start a gym. But what I realized is I could actually understand the skill set of marketing and I could reach out to gyms and I could work with them. And what I realized was I could actually get gyms to pay me a couple thousand bucks a month and even structure the deals in a way where I even have a profit share or rev share and I could work with 10, 20 gyms. Maybe they all pay me 2000 bucks a month to do all their marketing, but I have a rev share where if I can help them grow, they give me 10% of the revenue. And, and that's something where I could have all the upside potential of a gym in terms of revenue and cash flow. And I could also get a better understanding of how a gym operates. Cause in my phone, I have, you know, six, seven, 20, 30, 40, 50 gym owners that run, you know, multi six figures, multi million dollar gyms. So that's just one example. But my point is this is when you start a normal business, you have the product design. You have the branding, you have the website, you have customer service, you have fulfillment, you have all of those different pieces in the business. And it could be 10, 20, 30, 40 grand to get started, you know, and really launch a brand the right way. 
But when you do this model of a marketing agency, you get to work with these brands that have already made that investment and you get to work with business owners that are already successful and you focus in on this one skill set, marketing, how to get customers to buy. And when you master that skill set, what I realized is that people that know how to run a marketing agency and get results for clients and understand this model, they go on to build multi seven figure businesses, eight figure businesses. So really short term, you get the, the benefit of being able to start fast without, you know, investing tons of money and having to manage the seven different areas of a business. You just focus on one area marketing and you get that down and you get all the upside potential with the income. So that's why I think it's extremely successful for a lot of people that really commit to it. So one more example, let's say someone's looking at e-commerce. Well, you have to know how to market. You have to build a product work with um, people to make the product, customer service. You have you know, seven different areas of a business when you really build a real business. So imagine starting off and you're trying to focus on all seven areas versus just that one core part of every business, which is marketing. So you master that short term and long term, you're able really to jump into any industry you want down the road and do it successfully. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, you know, you did mention that all these um, ways that you will reach out to gyms and then just start getting multiple gyms, start uh, having a profit share and all this, right? So all of that and collectively what you've done has created you millions, right? But people want to know, out of everyone you've worked with and even clients, what are the results you've gotten them? So results do vary, right? And that's just like anything in life, right? If I look at any sport or in anything in life where there's competition, you have people that are the one percenters, the five percenters, 10 percenters, right? The real benefit of people that get started or maybe work with, you know, a software or work with, you know, resources that already exist is they can fast track their success. So we have people that have went from zero to seven figures, multiple six figures, multiple millions of dollars. We have tons of different case studies of people that we've worked with. And I think the big benefit is this, is when you work with someone that has not just done it once, but done it, you know, 10, 20 different times over and over, um, they can really help you not make those big mistakes that hold most people back and, and stop them from succeeding. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Um, and you know, having people especially be skeptical with everything that's going on, that they've had previous experiences of not succeeding and stuff, you know, what's, what's holding people back from creating or starting an SMMA? Um, I would say the main thing holding people back is they really don't know where to start and they don't know what service to offer. Okay. So where to start is very simple. You start with determining who do you want to work with, right? What are you passionate about? For me, I chose industries that I was passionate about. So I said, Hey, I want to work with um, gyms and, and I actually worked with UFC fighters and I worked with a lot of influencers and people that had personal brands. So I chose things I was naturally passionate about and I said, Hey, I'm going to work with these industries. And that's one place where you can start is just thinking about who do you want to work with? The second thing is you got to figure out what to offer. And that's the amazing thing about starting an SMA is there's so many different ways to go about it. Um, you could go and specifically focus on video editing. You could uh, focus on making short form content, long form content. You could focus on ads. You could focus on writing, you know, emails and, and um, which is known as copywriting. When you write the text, you could focus on just the design parts of a website. There's so many different ways that you can go with it, but you want to figure out what do you want to offer is the second piece. And there's ways to automate that. Um, one thing that I really am a big believer in is just figure out who you want to work with, figure out what you want to offer. And there's actually ways where you can automate all of the backend work on your end. Um, if you know where to look and, and, you know, partner with the right people. Amazing. Yeah, that's, that's so true. You know, a lot of people don't take the time to partner with the right people, especially you with your partners that have created seven to eight figure businesses. So that actually leads to my next question, just because I did mention that you and your partner have run successful agencies and people want to know, they see all these coaches online posting and putting ads, you know, like come to me, I'll show you how to run an SMMA. They post everything, but what makes you different from all these people online sharing and thinking that they know more than you? What's the difference you bring? 
I would just say in general, most people that have a, a business online, they usually have one thing that they're really good at and they have one way to get customers and clients, right? Um, for us, we believe in actually using something we call the rain method, where we actually use referrals, we use advertising, we use integrated partnerships to partner with people that refer us tons of business. We also use network partnerships, which is the same concept as well. So we actually have different methods to get customers and clients. And I believe that's important because it makes you more durable. Like when I first got started, I remember when I first ran ads and I had my first week where I made 20K, 100K, 200K. And as time went on, I realized because something could happen to that ad account. I realized you need to have multiple ways to bring in customers and clients when you're gonna build something that's gonna last for 10 years. If you're gonna to try to just make some quick money and quick cash, you could probably learn from someone and learn a little tactic or a method that's working right now, but to build something where you actually have a real business, a real asset that could be sold one day even, because we actually have gone through that process, you wanna have durability and I think that's probably one of the biggest uh, things that separates us from, you know, somebody that just jumped into this, you know, two or three years ago or even four years ago. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. You know, that's something that could definitely uh, go a long way. And, you know, with you sharing all this, you know, a lot of people ask themselves a lot of questions as they're watching videos and what's some resources people could have to initiate or begin a SMMA? So there's a lot of resources online. And actually, if you want, we actually have a video where you can go through basically an entire course. It's, it's a free video where you can check it out and I'll show you how to find clients, how to outreach to them and, and actually, you know, introduce yourself. It'll also share, you know, the basics of, you know, sales and what that process looks like, as well as even how to deliver for them as well. So that would probably be the best resource. It's one video. It walks through every single part of, you know, getting launched and getting everything up and running. Amazing, amazing. And to close off, you know, to conclude with this, Nick, once again, piggyback writing off of what you said earlier, what's the biggest risk? People ask themselves, what am I willing to risk to start something? So people ultimately overthink stuff. But what is really the biggest risk if you do start a SMA? I would say the biggest risk is definitely going to be your time because you are going to invest time in getting this thing up and running. And whether you go and take the right actions or the wrong actions, it will be something where you can never get that time back. And other people might think, well, what about the money part? Um, for me, when I've met everybody that makes millions of dollars, or they're worth eight figures, or even, you know, I've met billionaires. When you ask them, do what would you rather have a billion dollars or, or 10 years back? They, they say time. So the biggest risk is time. With that being said, you could also spend your time doing something that isn't giving you the ideal result or the ideal scene in your life as well. So that's the same way of not doing it, right? So the way that I look at it, it's like this. Look, worst case scenario, you're gonna learn how to do marketing. You're gonna get to a network with seven figure, eight figure business owners. That's gonna help you be more successful and that's the bottom line. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that, Nick. You know, that that makes a lot of sense with everything you're sharing. So wanted to take the time to appreciate your time, Nick. And absolutely, if anyone is willing to start an SMMA, Nick is your guy. If you got done with this episode, check out the next video where we break down the entire process to get started. In as little as 72 hours, literally we go over sales, outreach, how to find people to work with, how to deliver, the whole entire thing that you need to get started. So click that video and we'll see you in the next one.